Whoop. Tuesday afternoon, this is how we rock and roll, isn't it? Look at it. Look at it. Miss Peaches. Resting on the control pad. So if you can say, look at her. <laughs> Super cute. I don't know. This is going to go a bit funny angled. Um, I'm holding him on. Yeah. You're giving me a filthy look for. <laughs> hey. What's that all about? Getting down? Are you just hiding from the camera like go away? <laughs> hey? She's grown so much. She's off. There's no room. She doesn't like being squashed up. But he's grown so much. He's gone really leggy. Isn't yeah. Hey. Hey. Mr. Leggy boy, aren't you? I'm gonna clean yourself some more, okay? Oh gosh, your claws on my leg. Hang on, it's this one. Move your over, look. No. Let's move it over. Oh, God. Ah, don't bite me. I'm not trying to hurt you. <laughs> I'm trying to move you over so you're comfortable. Hey, Oreo. Oreo. Oh, sneezing. Mr. Handsome, aren't you? Surprising how much is grown. Yeah. Shall I turn it around so you can see a bit better? Show your feet, I said. <laughs> hmm? What's this? Hmm. Yeah, good boy. He has calmed down so much since he's had his nuts off. And he's calmed down loads. He's still full of beans. Hmm? But he's definitely calmed down a touch. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Is that good? I need to wipe your eye. You've got a bit of yuckies. Hey? Hmm. What's that? I'm still waiting on... Um... Oops, sorry for making you giddy. I'm still waiting on... Um... The vinyl to be done in the hallway. I'm still waiting for someone to come out with samples. Apparently, they're waiting on samples to come. Makes no sense, does it? You know, it's like having a floor shop, <laughs> a carpet shop, and no, you know, carpet swatches. It doesn't make any sense. The floor department that does the vinyl is waiting on vinyl samples to come in. I'm like, what? Hmm. So the guy says, oh, it'll be today or tomorrow that they'll come across and then I can choose. I just want them all out of the bloody way. I'm sick of it because I can't go out. I can't do anything on the off chance that someone's going to appear, you know, to do a job. Um, I know I should just literally live my life and carry on as normal. But the thing is, though, it's hard when you've got... You, you've... See, I like to be in my head knowing where um, what's going on from day to day, week to week, because of my... Um, oh, I've got a claw in my knee. It's just... Uh, ah! Um, yeah. Um, I like with my conditions. Go down, I think. You're going to have to go down. You're getting a bit... That's it. Sorry. <laughs> I like to just put him on the floor. Um, yeah, I like with my, um, with everything, I just like to know where I am and what's going on from week to week, day to day. Um, so then if I've got to be, I know that they're coming then and that they're going to be here and doing a certain job and, you know, and I can prepare myself, I can move the cats in the bedroom or I can, what are you doing? You know, or I can uh, move stuff and, you know, I'm just, I just like to be in the know of what's going on. The flooring still has to be put down. I'm still waiting on somebody to come out and do the jobs that are left to be done. 
it's like we're at the final few hurdles and suddenly we've stopped again and yeah i tell you it's it's frustrating because you know you just think this could all be done so bloody quickly if they actually got their fingers out stop it now um i've got him sort of putting his claws in my chair um in the seat and scratching away um I don't know where he's gone now. Um, but yeah, you know, I just want to know because if I've got appointments or anything and I can't make appointments, it's like I want to get peaches in at the vats, get her have a checkup and um, just get her booked in so she can have a spay booked in. Um, and at the minute, it's, it's like I can't do that. I've got... The doctor's on Friday and it's like if I, I can guarantee if I don't know what's going on, you guarantee there'll be a workman that'll be at the door as I'm preparing to leave or they'll be here and wanting to do two hours of work or something and I'll be like, well, I've got to go out. So then they've got to rearrange everything. I'd rather just have a date given and I know what's going on, and then it's all sorted out. But it's not happening at the moment. Um, it's just a lot. And um, I've complained about some weird yellowy-looking thing on my son's wall. And um, they've said, it's dust. And all I need to do is to give it a wipe and it will go and paint over it and it will be gone. Well, I don't want to fork out money for paint for his room. And then I have all these fungally things going on because I'll go bloody spare. Um, I will. I'll go completely nuts. I'm expecting a package to come today, so I can't go out even if I wanted to. Um, and I've got another one that's coming, but it probably will be here tomorrow. Um, just watching the cats. But yeah, um i just like to know what's going on and I don't like to keep phoning up and emailing because it makes me feel like as if I'm being a nuisance. But if I don't email or phone, then it's like you get forgotten about, you get put to the back of the pile, um, they do nothing. So I've sort of learnt now to just uh, crack on and just basically send them an email and if that doesn't work um phone them up but yeah they said oh the vinyl samples will be here today or tomorrow morning and i'm thinking it's like having a floor shop with no <laughs> with no sample box your vinyl department for your flooring would have sample books i don't get it it's very peculiar, and I think I'm just being fobbed off. But it's like, what else can I do? I can't do anything else. So, yeah, here we are. Maybe, just maybe, tomorrow will be the day that they'll turn up and do something. Right, anyway, I'm going to shoot off. Um, I just thought I'd show you. Peaches and Oreo and how they look. They were just looking so cute on my lap. No. <laughs> no. <Aww. Aww. Aww. laughs> anyway, catch you later. Bye.